All right, guys, slightly, slightly different video today. It's still to do with the van. Well, it's not really to do with the van. It sort of is because this is going to go in the van. But this is a, a project, an e-bike project. Uh, so it's my old Dahon uh, folding bike. It's around 10 years old that I'm going to convert into uh, an e-bike. I've got a uh, 750 watt BBS 02 Bafang uh, mid-drive motor with battery lithium battery and that's the charger in the middle there and uh, yeah I just fit uh, just today I fit these nice big fat uh, Schwalbe Big Ben uh, tires front and back uh, supposedly that should be better uh, for e-bikes anyway because the other last tires were really thin and worn out anyway and uh, some new grips as well which uh, I put on because my grips were completely worn out this is a 10 year old bike after all, so, uh, so yeah, I hope you like the video and and, uh, and find it useful. Okay, so this is on a uh, Dahon Jetstream uh, folding bike, so uh, the parts that you remove might be slightly different if you're doing it on a different bike, but um, I'll tell you what I did and you can, uh, if you're doing the same uh, installation, you can, uh, you can follow the bits that are relevant. By the way, all the parts that you need, uh, if you need to buy any, are listed in the description. Um, so uh, you yeah, know, do check those out, and uh, yeah. So first thing to do is the uh, remove the uh, bolt on the uh, chain ring, the first bolt, and that's a uh, Allen key size eight. And uh, after that, use the uh, crank extractor to remove the, uh, the chain ring itself. And uh, you need to use a size eight Allen key, and uh, use it on both sides. Uh, there's also the uh, lock ring, two lock rings on each side, one on each side. And um, use a, a bottom bracket tool, as you see here, the grey tool, uh, to remove the entire axle unit. So there's another uh, another lock ring there. And then there's also here an inner ring, which uh, was part of the Dahon bike. It's not necessarily on any other bikes, but the Dahon have this kind of spacer. So you can put in, as you can see uh, here, we uh, put the motor in uh, to attach the uh, new chain ring uh, where she removed the thing after after putting the chain ring on but here you can see it's five bolts uh, that you put in and a size 5 allen key the bolts obviously come with the kit and we removed the motor straight away after i mean the bike was on a stand uh, to make it easier to work on um, but uh, we removed the bolts uh, the uh, entire motor unit to attach the uh, plastic cover of the uh, chain ring uh, because uh, you have to um, attach it with uh, screws on the back which you can't you know reach when it's actually on the bike itself and uh, for that we used a uh, Phillips screwdriver before putting it back on and then you attach the bracket that came with the kit to hold the motor in place and it takes two bolts to uh, attach it and tighten it on and size 5 allen key was used before putting on this uh, lock ring uh, which um, here what we did, we uh, we used an adjustable wrench to attach the lock ring uh, to tighten it because it needs to be tightened you know, really, really tight uh, according to the instructions anyway. Uh, what you should do really is have a uh, Bafang installation spanner tool uh, to tighten the um, to tighten it properly. Uh, but I didn't have it and I didn't want to buy it. It's like 15 quid or something on eBay. Uh, the link's in the description if you want to find it. Um, so yeah, we just used this adjustable wrench, as you can see, and it did a relatively good job. After that, we attached the um, pedals to the uh, new pedal arms that came with the kit. And uh, to do that, uh, we used a size eight Allen key. And then obviously attached the pedals to the, uh, to the chain ring and the motor itself. I mean, to the, uh, to the axle really of the uh, motor. To attach the actual pedals themselves, we used another again the size A Allen key, and by using the original bolts that we removed, uh, you know, from the bike itself uh, at the start. So here is the, um, the speedometer, and uh, use that Phillips screwdriver to screw or to tighten it on or to tighten it. So here you go. We attach the uh, speedometer or the sensor, sorry, um, on the bike on the. Uh, right this is the bike's upside down here it's on a stand so it's on the uh, back fork on the right hand side if the bike was the right way up if you understand what I mean and uh, yeah we attached it using the zip ties 
uh, which came with the kit. So here we use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten it on before lining it up with the magnet on the wheel. And then uh, obviously plugged it in with uh, to the motor here or to the electric motor. So here, uh, because the uh, bike, uh, the original bike had a 52 uh, tooth chain ring uh, and the motor came with a 44 tooth chain ring, obviously we had to remove some chain links and uh, we used the chain link remover. So you might need to do the same, I don't know, but this is what we did. We used a size 4 allen key to, uh, to, you know, to, to basically remove the chain links here, as you can see, and the chain link remover. And there you go, eight of them were taken off and uh in this case anyway and uh yeah you might have to use uh watch another youtube video to make sure that uh you get that right it was kind of like you get to see a very quick example of it here in this video so you also need to chat attach the um the gear shifter and the throttle and so to do obviously you have to remove the grips and uh, disconnect the brakes remove the brake handles And we used the size four Allen key for that on this bike, and you know, at least for this bike, as needed. And obviously, I had to attach the brakes, bike uh, brakes that came with the kit. And the computer goes in the middle of the hand handlebar, and uh, to tighten that up with a size three Allen key. So uh, to begin with, I actually got the gear shifter and the throttle on the wrong side. The gear shifter has to go on the left-hand side of your left hand and uh, the throttle on the right. And a size four Allen key, I think, uh, for the, uh, uh, for the uh, brakes that came with the uh, kit. They're, they're electric brakes as well as, uh, as brakes that, that, uh, that go on the bike or use the, uh, you know, they, they, it basically shuts off the motor on the bike as well as you know uh, triggering the brakes on the wheels and by the way if you're interested uh, these grips are very nice uh, they're Ergon GS1 uh, handlebar grips uh, with the right hand side having a short version of the grip because there's also the gear shifters uh, the, the uh, mechanical gear shifters that go on the bike uh, the electronic, electronic gear shifters are something entirely different they're for the motor um, but yeah, so uh, right hand uh, size, uh, side for, for me ha has to ha had to have a, uh, a short uh, hand grip. And to attach the uh, gear shifter, uh, it's a size 2 Allen key. And obviously the throttle goes on and that's with a size 2 Allen key. And by the way, for the, and for the wiring, um, which you don't actually see in the video, uh, that gets but the wiring is actually very easy to do. It's all color coded. So you just connect everything up, all the brakes, lever, lever, levers, the thr throttle, the gear shifter, et cetera, et cetera. It's all color coded. All the yellow ones, there are several yellow ones, but they, are, they it doesn't matter what order they go in. Uh, they connect to each other. You just connect them and the, uh, the green one. And I think there might be a blue one there, I'm not sure. But they're all color coded and so you, so you just have to connect them up. All right, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of wires here that I've got to deal with. Um, so uh, I'm going to tidy that up now and then show you I've got this uh, it's like you know what you used to uh, to tidy up your uh, your kind of spaghetti going on inside your computer in terms of wiring uh, I've got that here and I'm going to use that trying to try and tidy up the uh, wiring from the front and, and run it to the back so yeah alright so I put on the uh, first sheath there to cover the wire probably and make it look nicer and so you can see here it goes to the top and there's like a, a zip wire here to attach it and it goes down here through this um, front suspension under the bottom here round behind this wrapped around three times then round behind this thing once again and goes down the hole there as you can see down here and inside the motor and there's another zip tie here that i've just about if I can focus on that just about i can't focus on it but yeah it's that's where the motor is and so that's it and uh, now i'm going to put another one of these sheaths on the um on the uh well first i'm going to install the battery so as you can see here this is the battery uh, uh battery um 
the base of the battery that I'm going to fit to the frame right now and then uh, I'm going to put a uh, another one of those cover wire covers on the um, on the battery the, on the power wire all right so this is the type of battery I'm putting on I'll be putting it here there's a bit of a bump here which makes it a bit of a pain to install um, I'm going to show you how I got around that uh, now so there's the bracket that holds the battery in place and I've uh, made this piece of wood here I bought these long bolts uh, these are M5 bolts that uh, go into the frame to hold the uh, hold the uh, battery uh, uh, frame or battery holder and uh, these are 40 millimeters long to go through this block of wood uh, which I had uh, I drilled two holes in it and I used one of these uh, cone drills to kind of make the um, the holes bigger so I could actually attach it to the frame because this, this frame has these little kind of bumps here where the um, the bottle goes the um, where you can attach a, uh, a bottle you know um, so you know as you can see it kind of just goes on and attaches and now I can put the battery on like that and uh, it dangles off the side here but that's okay and um, yeah the, the point is that otherwise I wouldn't be able to put the battery on properly because of this bump here on the uh, Dahon so if you've got a Dahon then you probably have to do something similar if you have the same battery as me so in case you have to do things, something similar I had to sand down or I had to cut uh, this piece of wood and sand it down um, and then obviously paint it uh, put some primer here first and then uh, painted it black later and I used that um, on the bike obviously uh, to uh, make sure that the uh, battery uh, was on a, a good nice flat surface uh, or a flat enough surface to use. I also attached the uh, the sheath on the piece of wiring that comes out of the, uh, the battery um, bracket here uh, you know I also attached that as well which you don't actually see in the video but uh, that's you know it's not too difficult to do uh, yeah, to, for, do, for, for getting the right length of uh, sheath, if you're going to do the same as me, uh, it, it takes a bit of trial and error, um, you know, because it's hard to actually get it on when you've got, you know, and keep it all in one piece. If that's what you want to do, I kept it all in one piece. Um, so, yeah. All right, so here's the bike on all its glory. Right. So yeah, here's the bike on all its glory. Uh, I've only ridden it a couple of times, so uh, still completely new to me. But I'll uh, try my best to ride it with the uh, with uh, my camera in one hand. Uh, I won't be able to ride it very fast, obviously, but um, yeah, it should give you an idea of what it's like. All right, so let's switch it on. <laughs> oh no, I've got to switch on the battery. That's right. So, switch it on here, and then here, there you go, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do this one handed now, it's on the first gear so it shouldn't be too difficult. Whoa. It, it kind of goes off by itself. It's got pedal assist on. I haven't changed any modes. So if I, yep, as you can see. So I'm on a slight incline here. It's going very slow because it's on the first gear. And I can't change it to the second gear because I'm holding this phone. But um, I tried it, I was going quite quickly last time. I went, I think I managed to get up to 30 miles an hour, I don't know. This is in kilometers an hour. Uh, but it was uh, going pretty damn quick at that point. And it's silent as well. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, there's nothing to say really, it just becomes a kind of moped. Um, kind of, it kind of takes away from the, uh, the, uh, the fact that it's a bike and it becomes a kind of vehicle um, but yeah uh, you can still pedal with it it's just a bit heavier so going uphill is just less uh, something you're less inclined to do without a uh, 
without using the motor. So that's it. If you uh, if you like, please like, comment, comment and subscribe. Um, so yeah, cheers. Cheers for watching.